Hi. It's been over a week since I've been out here messing with this thing. Uh, been pretty busy with other things. Came out today, brought out some heavy duty tractor and hydraulic transmission fluid Super Tech. This is uh, the brand I picked up at Tractor Supply Company actually for my Ford 1920. Um, this actually says on the back that it meets where is it down here the J.I. Case I.H. Case I.H. Steiger uh, MS-1207 uh, specification so the MS-1207 should supersede I believe the MS-1204 which is I think the equivalent of the Case High Trans or something like that but the main thing is it's not straight hydraulic fluid it's formulated for hydraulic and transmission which is what we want in this machine well this jug was open but i hadn't used much of it so it's a two gallon jug there's probably 1.75 gallons or so left in that jug and i just poured it all in there and now i can at least see the fluid down in there but it's just barely touching the bottom of the dipstick and i'm not sure whether or not the proper test is to just hold the dipstick here or whether or not it's to screw it in and test. So if I screw it in, obviously it goes in a little deeper and then back it out. I will get a reading on the dipstick. And it's about halfway up between the very bottom edge of the dipstick and the full mark. So, not sure that might still be too low. But since I don't have any more fluid, until I go to the store and buy some more. I'm going to have to just see what happens. So now, time to start the old girl again. Well, I got to cover this again. And we've had a lot of rain since I was out here last. So, that sure looks like I got rainwater in my fuel tank again. Bummer. Yeah, I just dumped it all. There was a lot of water in that gas can so that little tank so that means it's probably water went right into the carburetor there and it's probably sitting in the bottom of that bowl so I'm going to drain off the bottom of the bowl just to be safe well while I'm draining off the bowl I want to take a moment to check the engine oil level the reason why I want to know what the engine oil level is before I start it is because big question would be why is that hydraulic level so low I mean, obviously the hydraulics wouldn't work with the level that low. But why are they that low in the first place? Well, one possibility is nobody ever got around the bothering to take the seat off and put more hydraulic fluid in it. And it just eventually got lower and lower and lower over time until it got too low. I mean, that's a possibility. But the more probable answer would be that we've got a hydraulic leak. And basically when it comes to hydraulic leaks, all I can think of is two possibilities, an internal leak or an external leak. External leak would be, for instance, uh, the seals on this cylinder being bad. In which case, when the control valve is activa activated, you'd probably get a lot of... Uh, a lot of spillage of hydraulic fluid coming off of here. And this doesn't look like it's had oil on it in a long time so I don't necessarily think that's going to be the culprit um, another possibility well looky here if we look at our PTO shaft where it comes out this is all wet here so we've got some sort of a seal on the PTO output shaft right here and there's even a stain on the ground right back here on the grass and I moved this tractor so that's new and that came out of here so it is a good culprit right there you get a leaking seal on the PTO hydraulic uh, sorry the PTO output shaft and your transmission slash hydraulic fluid in that reservoir is leaking out over here that might be what got it so low in the first place but then there's another possibility, which is what I'm hoping is not the case, which is that we've got a worn out hydraulic pump that's got a bad seal that's allowing 
the hydraulic fluid to spill out of the pump into the crankcase because this cover right here is your oil fill for the crankcase so this assembly right here is actually the front uh, cover covers the camshaft gears and the drive gear that actually drives this pump so what you've got is you've got the pump right here is driven off a of gear from here and there's obviously a seal inside this pump that keeps hydraulic fluid from spilling from the hydraulic pump into the crankcase and if this seal fails when the pumps running it can dump a very large amount of hydraulic fluid rather quickly into the crankcase um, had that happen on my old backhoe the 353 diesel it actually hydrolocked because the uh, fluid from the power the, the damaged power steering pump in that case actually pumped in gallons of hydraulic fluid in a matter of minutes and stalled the engine and I actually had a situation where you could see the fluid was dripping out of the, the dipstick of course this isn't a diesel but you get the idea anyway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check my oil level make sure my oil levels right where I want it make note of the oil level and then that way after I'm running it for a bit I can check the oil level and if the oil level has increased dramatically I will know that I've got hydraulic fluid going into my crankcase Alrighty, let's see how it starts, or if it'll start after sitting for a week. Just reconnecting my battery, hopefully it's still enough of a charge on there. Key on. Choke on full. Yeah. What a pop! Isn't that nice? what happens. Hey, look at that. Hydraulics. Three points working again. We have the pump now that's loaded up, put a little bit of a load on the engine. So I don't have to reprime the pump or anything like that. Oh, look at that. We've got, not the greatest, but got some action out of the power steering. That's another issue though, but at least now there's something happening with the power steering. Wasn't doing anything before. Ooh, I got a loose fan belt. Anyways. Let's see. Trying to get the front end off the ground, take the weight off of it, but loader hydraulics don't have enough balls to lift this thing. Come on, baby. Huh. Turns right but doesn't want to turn left. It's not leaking right now. Maybe that leak can happen when I was running the PTO. Maybe it only leaks when it runs. Good response from the hydraulics, though. Alright. About you throw the seat on and try and drive it again. Well, I got a couple of the little screws in there holding it in. Good enough for right now. Can't see it from my house. <laughs> All right, motor should still be warm enough to start without the choke. Yeah. Yeah.
goes in the gear a lot easier. Yeah. I don't want to turn in just one direction, I'll be all set. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, baby. Son of a gun. I can hear the engines being loaded down by that hydraulic pump, trying like hell to turn this thing. Just don't want them. I'm going to go in the neighbor's yard if I keep doing this. interesting uh, of course I know the power steering's got issues steering system oh, oh. oh I just blew a hydraulic line son of a gun son of a gun blew a hydraulic line going to the power steering system well isn't that a shock anyways what I was about to say before that happened, oh look how contaminated that hydraulic fluid is. Anyways, what I was about to say before that just happened was uh, that I got an interesting thing going on here with the transmission too. I got the uh, reverse up here, and I got a road gear. I got a gear here, a gear here. Lower left is a gear. Straight back is a gear, and then. All the way over to the right, this gear. For some reason, when I put it in this gear, the tractor moves real slow and the engine is really labored trying to move that. And I tried giving it more throttle, thinking that would correct it, and it really didn't. So something really seems wrong with that gear, whatever that gear is. So it looks like one, two, three, four, five in reverse. It's a five speed with reverse. So if that's first, this must be second, that must be third, maybe it's fourth gear, and then up here is fifth. 